heist adventure film Red Notice stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Ryan Reynolds, and Gal Gadot. I finally was able to check it out, so let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Sean, and I love to talk about movies way too much. With that in mind, go ahead and join me down below in the comments section. Share your take on Red Notice. My take isn't the right take, it's just my take, and I would love to hear yours. Now, according to both The Rock and Ryan Reynolds' Instagram accounts, this movie had the biggest day, opening day, of any movie in Netflix's history, which isn't terribly surprising because it stars three very bankable names and has a very consumable genre to it. And apparently you put that on the home screen of Netflix and you'll get a lot of people to click on it. And thus this movie did great in its first day. I actually watched it the second day this movie came out. So I wasn't a part of that initial number, but whatever opening weekend it has, I will be a part of that number. With that said, let's get started. And for this review, I'm just gonna kind of give my general thoughts all kind of together because the nature of this film, it all kind of falls into the mixed category for me. And what I mean by that is that it's a movie that it's a naturally a fun genre. Adventure films, globe trotting, there's a MacGuffin out there and it stars three very charismatic, fun actors, but it's also a movie that doesn't bring anything new to the table. As you're watching it, almost every single scene or sequence will remind you of something else, something better. But that doesn't mean that it's not fun. And that's kind of the experience of this entire film. It had a big, gigantic budget. It is slick. It is professional. It's all well done. But it's also all very familiar. And if you watch the trailer and you go, that looks like that'll, that'll be kind of fun you'll probably have fun with it. If you watch that trailer and you went, oh my goodness, that just looks like a string of cliches. You'll get that too. <laughs> it, it's both of those things. And so I think it really depends on what you're expecting to get out of this movie. So as you're watching it, it's immediately extremely reminiscent of Hobbs and Shaw. Why? Because it st stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson, buddied up with someone that drives him crazy, and part of it involves them being in prison. That stuff happened in one of the Fast and Furious movies that led into the Hobbs and Shaw movie. So it's just very reminiscent of something that he did in the past. There's all kinds of action sequences that feel like they're pulled straight from something else. But they're also all very well done. They're also slick with the production, plenty of budget on display with what you're seeing, and all done with three very fun actors to watch. So, if you're looking for the best movie of the year, you of course will not find it. If you're looking for the most original film of the year, that's definitely not this film. If you're just looking for something where you can kind of turn off your brain and have some fun, that's what this is. But it, you probably won't remember it too far after you watched it. It doesn't do much that leaves a mark it's just disposable entertainment. And I don't have a problem with that. I had fun watching this movie last night. I wasn't bored. I wasn't like, man, when's this thing gonna be over? I wasn't pulling out my phone to like tickle my brain or anything like that. No, I had fun with it while I was watching it, but it all felt a little bit familiar. And I don't know that it's a movie that like kind of will pop into mind. It's not gonna be something that's a point of reference for something later on. It's. It's a familiar genre, a safe formula that you take adventure with people going around the globe trying to get some items, have some big action set pieces, throw some charismatic leads in it, boom, you got yourself a good time. That's what this is. So as for me, I like this kind of thing. I like all three of these actors, so I enjoyed it. Will I remember it a year from now? I don't know about that, but the role of the movie isn't necessarily to make me remember it year, a year later, it's to entertain me while I'm watching it. So, if you need something fresh and original, 
don't watch this movie. If you saw the trailer and went, oh, just rolled your eyes at the cliches, don't watch this movie. If you're not very demanding, I'm not very demanding. I, I think you might have fun with it. I had fun with it, my wife had fun with it. Neither one of us were like blown away and loved it, but we had fun with it for what it was for the two hours that we were watching this movie. That's the way to think about this film. I use the phrase Taco Bell movie on my channel. This is a Taco Bell movie. It's, it's fun, even though on paper it's very cliche, rips off a lot of people, but it's still enjoyable to eat, even if it's just assembly line, disposable entertainment. So for me, I'm gonna go with the B- minus on the entertainment skill, seven out of 10. If you're just in the mood to turn off your brain and have some fun time with some movie stars, you can watch it. If you saw the trailer and rolled your eyes, don't watch it. It's that simple. Thank you so much for watching. You can check out another one of my videos right over there. I don't even know what it's recommending to you right now. Thank you so much for watching and keep talking movies too much.